Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fusion 360 for FTC series. This is the 12th video in the series and if you haven't watched the previous 11 videos, I recommend you do so by clicking on the card in the corner. In the last two videos we looked at how to construct planes and axes. In this video we'll be finishing up the construct tool and we'll be looking at how to construct points. Uh, so what are points used for? Uh, points can be used to construct planes and axes as we've looked at before. There is the plane through three points which uses three points to define it so it's useful to be able to um, construct some points um, to use this tool. Um, also the axes through two points uses two points to define it and the axis perpendicular to face at point uses a face and a point. So often you want to use points that haven't already been defined automatically by the geometry. So the first tool we're going to be looking at is the point at vertex. And all this does is it basically adds a construction point to a point that's already created. Um, so if I exited this tool and I went around to the vertexes here, you could see that it, Fusion 360 is automatically telling me that this was a vertex. But it hasn't actually placed a point here yet. Um, so if I went here and I did a point in at vertex and I selected this, now I would have a construction point here. And if we went down the construction menu, you could see that this is actually a construction point that's been created. Um, this one, pretty simple, um, pretty easy to use. Uh, the next one that we're going to be looking at is the point through two edges. And for all of these tools that use planes, or faces or edges, um, they may word it like the the edge is not going to be extended like a line, but you can see here in the options over here, it is actually a line. So if you select edges that aren't actually um, intersecting, um, they will be extended as lines. But um, in this example, these edges are intersecting here on the cube. And if I selected these two, it would place a, um, a a point here. And you have to select edges that are intersecting. If I selected this one, it wouldn't let me select this one, for example. Um, uh, so it'll, it'll tell you if they're not intersecting. Um, so we could just place it like this, and it would place it on that back corner right there. Um, next, let's take a look at the, plane, uh, the point through um, through three planes. Um, as we know, as we know from the axes video, um, a axis can be constructed by the intersection of two planes. So by adding a third plane, we're bringing that down to the the first dimension, which is just a point. Um, so this one, if I selected this plane, for example, on this triangular um, this, tri this triangular pyramid. Um, and I selected this one and this one. Uh, you would notice that it places the point here. Um, and we, we could play around with this, but you'll notice that it is ex in fact extending this face into a plane. Um, it Because there's no way this face could intersect over here, but it's being extended. Uh, we just can't see it. So that allows you to place a point the intersection of three planes, which are defined by your geometry, or they can be um, constructed using the construction tools. Um, next, let's take a look at the point at center, and this one is just, it's for um, uh, circles or spheres or toruses. Um, it just places the point at the center. Say, uh, when we looked at the axes, it just placed an axis down the middle. It's basically the same thing here. If I choose this top uh, circle, it's going to place a point in the middle. Um, and you'll notice it actually is at the top of that geometry. It's not in the middle down here. If I, in fact, selected this bottom one, it would place it down here. Um, very simple. Um, pretty easy to use. Um, next, we have two more tools that we're going to take a look at. Uh, the point at edge and plane and the point along path. So the point at edge and plane, it uses a line and a plane to define it. The line can be an edge on a geometry and the plane can be a face on a, on a body. Um, so if I selected a uh, plane to work with, such as uh, this plane, for example, 
and then I, I selected a line to work with such as this line to work with um, it would place a point so maybe we can see that better if I choose it um, something like um, we'll choose this and um, this and you'll see that it's placing it here now um, it's important to remember that the plane and the line have to intersect so if they don't intersect it will not place it um, and a good a good uh, thing to watch out for is if I selected this this um, plane here you'll notice that it would not select me this line and that's because this line is intersecting infinitely many times with this plane so it doesn't know where to place the point but I could place it here and then it would know that it's intersecting here it's intersecting at one point um, if I select it um, down here instead it would place it at this intersection point um, so uh, that is it except for our point along path and this one um, we know how the pathing works all you do is you select a, uh, a path so if I selected this edge here this is going to be our path I could move it along this edge um, and I can, could not go off the top um, so it's not the geometry is not extended here it does not become a line and this is because a path can be curved as well so it wouldn't know how to extend a curve um, uh, so that is the point along path you'll notice that it's snapping to the middle here um, and it, I believe it can indicate indicate that by this little white notch here that's the middle um, and you'll see it's at 0.5 uh, so that's it for the point long path. You can use it on um, on curved pads like this, and you could select a point. And again, it's snapping to the midpoints here, um, and you can go all the way around because it's a circle, just like that. Um, that is going to be it for today's video. Pretty short video, pretty easy video. How to construct points. Points are the basis for many other things, such as the uh, the planes and the axes so um, in a, in itself they're pretty simple but they can be used to create more um, complex constructions um, in the next video we're going to finish up the nut geometry we're going to be using some plane tools to do that and then after that we're going to look at modify tools um, in the next couple of videos I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video